Hello. Um, I'm here because it's October, which is also Socktober, which is the time to celebrate all things socky. So um, I asked on my Facebook group to see if anybody fancied the challenge of working um, a toe up a sock with a true afterthought heel, which is basically where you um, <clears throat> knit the toe, then you knit a tube, then you measure your tube for your foot and you cut into the stitches. And then essentially what you do is you kind of stitch the toe on the heel of your sock and you end up with something like this so can you see it you haven't got a gusset um you've just kind of got the heel and you've got the sock anyway i've got a, a little response on my facebook group uh so i thought i'd do a video of of um all things socky as it relates to my life and my my socky experience if you like um i've got some socks here this one this is a toe down what toe down heel cuff down sock with a traditional heel flap and a gusset so can you th so this is a gusset here rather <laughs> not doing very well am i i've just been watching country file or bbc something about doing a ramble for charity if, to help kids who've got cancer and i'm just emotionally distraught and i've just walked from that straight up to the shed to do this video and i think i should have uh, had a couple of gins first right Anyway, pretend that all went perfectly well. Here is a sock. This is the gusset. This bit here where you've got increases. Can you see? Possibly not. Yeah, this is your gusset. And this is your heel flap. So this is the bit that sticks kind of the back of your foot on your ankle. And this is your insteps here. Your sole is here. Your leg is here and your cuff's here. So this sock was knitted from the cuff down. Focus, camera, focus from the cuff down with a traditional heel flap and gusset and then you do the toe last and you do the toe with kitchener stitch which is where you graph the stitches together and I love kitchener stitch um this has been knitted using just a really old-fashioned horseshoe lace pattern that you can pick up the camera's gone really dark me now me now Lined up a bit camera, that's better. Uh, it was in a stitch dictionary, but it's just everywhere. Horseshoe lace, it's kind of, it's very much older than me. And I love it because it's got the central double decrease in the middle of these kind of horseshoe shapes. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Shut up here. Right, moving on. And then this one as well, this is the Bonnie Last Sock. This is a free pattern on Ravelry. Look how tiny that looks. <laughs> um, and again, that's cuffed down with heel flap. Whoops and a gusset and then you knit the foot so you do the leg do the heel flap do the gusset you knit the foot and then you knit the sock and then obviously because you've knitted the sock last is that a nice view of the top of my head do i need my roots doing because you've knit the toe last you have to stitch it together and you do that with kitchen stitch because it's invisible and it's basically just like another row of knitting it's bloody marvelous i love it love it Otherwise, if you did it with like a normal stitch, you'd have your lumpy bit in the end of your toe, wouldn't you? And this one was knitted toe up. So can you see your heel looks a lot bigger than what it did on the other sock? Um, and you don't have a gusset. You've still got your instep, obviously. Your instep and your sole, get a right fit in your toe. But you do the toe completely differently. There's no kitchen stitch on the toe, but there is on the heel because you end up with it you've got to stitch the end of your heel together so with the toe you do something called judy's magic cast on which is just brilliant and i will put a link to the tutorial for that in the description of what this video is because it's pointless me reinventing the wheel and trying to do it myself judy does it perfectly well herself and i think the more clicks she gets on her youtube page the better for her so that's grand so you do your toe then you just basically knit a great big long tube <clears throat> until you know how long you want it and it's done or until you get so fed up that you just think i'm doing the cuff now or i'll end up putting it in the pile like a second sock syndrome and i'll never do the other one there you go so can you see you've got your toe no stitching up to do on the toe all done and then just a big long tube so what you do after you've knitted your tube you measure your foot or 
if you're dead organised, you measure your foot beforehand. My foot is about... How long is my foot? I can't remember. Ten and a half. Ten. Eleven inches or so? Hang on. Nine, ten. Ten and a half inches. What better than it? Um, so, you've got your tube. And what you're going to do is you are going to cut into your knitting and insert a heel and that heel will be approximately um either side of the heel will be approximately 1.5 inches big because that's if you knit another toe and that's the length of your toe right so you measure your foot then light thank you then you measure your sock to the length of your foot and you take away 1.5 inches and that is where you're going to put your heel but we'll go into more detail with that, that, that later because I don't know if that makes any sense or not um, <clears throat> and when you're measuring your foot give it a little bit of a stretch so it's really easy I think people are put off because they don't like to cut their knitting but I love to cut knitting I love sticking I just think it's great it's just really simple and really easy oh and this is another way to do a sock this is a toe up sock but this has a heel flap and a gusset so that's another way to knit a pair of socks this sock I'm going to show you because it's gorgeous I'll take this off this one's mine it's been test knitted at the minute this is a sock designed by Vicky Bird we collaborated she designed a beautiful sock ready for an autumn release so we could have an autumn knit along and I designed some yarn to go with it isn't that just absolutely delicious so we should have a release date it's pretty dark in here i'm sorry it's quite late but i just thought i'd get on with it we should have a release date for some time next week um <clears throat> and if you buy the sock through victoria's ravelry site she's vicky brown she's got <gasps> every time sorry vicky vicky bird i think i went to school with somebody called vicky brown and it's just like stuck in my head forever i don't know if she was evil or what but i seem not to be able to get rid of her um if you buy the sock through vicky birds ravelry page you'll get a 15 percent discount for my yarn so pop over there buy the sock pattern you'll get a discount code that you can then use in my shop i don't know if i'm going to put it on my etsy shop but i will have it on my normal shop um and it's just gorgeous i love it so yeah so you've got your toe up with heel flap and gusset or you've got toe up with an afterthought heel which is a cut in heel or you've got your cuff down and I am going to focus solely on the toe up with an afterthought heel um did I have anything left to say oh yeah what I'm going to do I'm going to go through how to do it and how to knit it and I'm going to show you just a really really simple slip stitch pattern and you might not be able to see it on here but I'll give it a go I know it's dark I'm sorry hang on there you can't really see it can you not very much this is river knits yarn and it's in the mermaid colorway and the toe is crocus pocus and the great thing the great thing about doing the um taupe socks with an afterthought heel is it's really easy to change your yarn so because you're knitting your heel basically independently of knitting the rest of the sock you can use a completely different color so you can really make your socks pop this is another taupe sock using I think I showed you this one on my podcast. This is River Knits in the something to do with a giant squirrel. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll have to check the name out. Um with the toe in a contrast yarn. Maybe I need to get the flash out, I don't know. Toe in a contrast yarn and then the leg just in the main yarn. And when I finished, what I'll do, I know that I have to measure up nine inches. What did I say? Nine and a half? I had Beth check. So I'll stretch it out a little bit. And I'll measure it to nine inches, which is there, and I'll put a little marker, and then I'll pick up two rows of stitches, cut the stitches in between, and then I'll work in my heel. So, let me see if I've got anything else I want to say. <sighs> no, that's it. So, let's get started. Right, I'm just going to switch you off, and I'll be back when I'm ready. Hopefully sometime this century. <laughs> 